Good evening. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and administration, we welcome you to our elementary preschool parent night. It truly is a joy for us to teach your children. We see all that they can be in Christ, and in a sense, we see what they will be rather than looking at them as just students in our classes in the here and now. That is one of the joys of teaching, to encourage our children to walk in truth and to watch them grow to become influencers for God's kingdom. As we enter into a new year of covenant partnership with your family, and it is indeed a partnership, may we all work together to present each student to our Lord. It has been said that children are not to be molded, but to be unfolded. In other words, we work together to help each child to unfold the gifts and talents and abilities that God has given in each unique life so that our children can be authentic followers of Christ. And that requires a high level of commitment from all of us, the home, the church, and the school. We believe that we have one of the best teams of teachers in the nation. Last year's recognition confirmed it as we were honored in Washington, D.C. as a Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. That thrust Western Christian Academy into the national spotlight of one of only 355 private schools in the nation who were recognized last year for outstanding achievement. We received letters of commendation from the U.S. Secretary of Education, from the Chief Executive Officer of, of the Association of Christian Schools International, from our U.S. Senator, and even from the President of the United States. And one of the primary reasons that we reach that level is our committed teachers who work tirelessly to provide a Christ-centered, classical Christian schooling for each and every child. So this year, we desire to build on that Blue Ribbon School of Excellence Foundation as we partner with your family in attempting to bring your child's life, to your child's life, the best education through the filter of a biblical world and life view, something that will bless your child and perhaps even generations to come as your child grows into adulthood. We know, though, that this, these are difficult times in our nation. And yet each generation of Americans have faced perils and difficulties since our nation's founding. This year, as we deal with the pandemic, we've had to make some significant, even drastic changes to how we do school. Western Christian Academy is not only one of the few schools in the nation to receive the Blue Ribbon Mark of Excellence, but it's one of the few schools in the nation who offers an elementary orchestra and one of the few who have, have actually a three-part instructional platform rather than a two-part instructional platform. With an on-campus classroom instruction, with learning centers that track online five days a week with live stream instruction, and an at-home learning program that meets the needs of families who are more comfortable having their children learn from home. We continue to fine-tune these options to make them succinct and stronger. We received this week our new high definition high definition cameras, which enhance the learning opportunities for our, our learning center learners and our at home learners. And we plan to have them up and running within a short amount of time. Please be patient with us as we introduce this new technology. While it is not our preference to do many things as virtual, such as this parent night, we still attempt to do things the very best we can with God's help and direction. We realize our families are faced with challenges and stresses that this current climate brings. But as Pastor Mark Tuso shared this past Sunday in our church service, the words of the prophet Habakkuk ring true. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vine, though the labor of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flocks may be cut from the fold, and there will be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And that is what we are teaching our children as families, church, and home, that I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. You know, we do that by example, how we model for them our approach to the difficult, how we handle mandates that are given to us that we may not actually agree with, how we respond to adversity how we approach the illnesses and economic struggles and restrictions where even our faces are often hidden behind our masks. Our children are watching us. And this is where we, in our covenant relationship as church, home, and school, demonstrate the strength of our synergy in Christ, that we are greater than the sum of our parts, 
because our Lord Jesus Christ is overall and in control, and we are not. We have each other to lean on, though, and we work together in unity to provide our children with the best education possible, despite the limitations we face that have hindered community. So at Western Christian Academy, we live with a purpose that we share with you as parents and with the church to be overcomers in Christ. May God bless this year. May he bless your family. May he bless our partnership. And may he bless each child at Weston Christian Academy. To God be the glory. Please join me in prayer. Father God, we thank you for our families, for our parents who are committed to Christian education for their children, making the sacrifices very often that are necessary for them to be in a private Christian school. And Father, we ask for your guidance this year that you would make our, our direction clear and help each and every child to grow in their image of you, Father, to help them to be all that you would desire for them to be. Lord, be with our teachers, be with our staff, be with our families as we work together this year, and that we may bring all the glory to you. In Christ Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. And now we'd like to hear from our assistant principal, Mrs. Debbie Young, who will share with you some of the details you will need to know for this new school year. Mrs. Debbie Young. Thank you, Mr. McCann. We are getting to the end of the first three weeks and things are going well. I wanna thank those families that completed the form to switch from online back to campus. That switch will take place this coming Monday. Be sure to bring your Chromebook and supplies back to school on Monday. You should come in uniform and remember, Masks are worn at all times on campus, but there will be mask breaks during the day. Please be sure to have an extra mask in your backpack should you need it. The new learning centers will also be opened on Monday for those grades that now require them. Red and Navy indicate which groups will be in the classroom each day. This schedule shows which groups are in the classroom. Today, the red group was in the classroom. Tomorrow, the blue group will be in the classroom. There will be signs in Carline that show whether it is a red day or a navy day. And you will receive a red or navy dot that should be placed on your car sign. This will assist us in getting your child to the right place each day. Students' IDs will help us to become familiar with all of our new students. Look, Mr. Noonan's in the first grade. The student's lanyard will be red or navy to further assist the students arriving each day as more students return to campus. Please remember that the red and navy groups apply to pre-K through fifth grade as middle school is on a block schedule. We've had a few technical issues, but we're working through them and we're so happy that our cameras have arrived. Thank you, Mr. Vialba, for all of your hard work. If you have a technical issue, you can contact Mr. Vialba at help at wcaeagles.com. Please be sure to use the school-issued Chromebooks. If you need to use a personal computer in an emergency, be sure to log in with the student's Google account. But it is important to remember that we cannot monitor or filter what the students are accessing if they are not on the school-issued Chromebook. Tonight, you will hear from your children's teacher. At the end of this video, the link you received by email will become active and provide a playlist where you can select your child's teacher. The teachers have done a great job putting together information for you to help your child have a successful year in their classroom. Now, I will turn it over to our head of school, Mr. Jerry Noonan. Well, thank you, Mr. McCann, and uh, thank you, Mrs. Young, for all that great information. You know, we are celebrating 25 years of uh, being a school. And while it might seem like a first year with all the new things we're doing and having to learn, uh, this is our 25th year, and we have much to be thankful for. And as we move forward, we can actually look back. And we can look back and see God's hand of faithfulness on our little school, bringing us to this point, growing us into being a school of over 400 students. 
And uh, we can also look at God's word, his sure and true word, that God keeps his promises. And we know as we go forward throughout this school year, we can trust God at his word. And so our theme verse is just so relevant that God's word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And we're going to trust in God's word as we move forward once again, taking every step, allowing him to guide us. And we're going to walk on the path God has set before us. We're going to walk it together. And so thank you for tuning in to our virtual parent night for our preschool and elementary. In a moment, you'll be able to click on the links uh, that will be active and you can hear from your, um, your child's teacher. And I do, before we sign off for this evening, I do want to invite you to next week, next week's all school Grandparents Day Chapel, a great time that we celebrate and honor all our grandparents. So when we send that link out next week, please be sure to share it with, uh, with your family members so they can tune in. The chapel will be at 8.30 on Wednesday morning. And again, we will send out a link next week. Uh, let me close our time in prayer. Father, thank you so much for your truth. Thank you so much for your word. And thank you for your faithfulness in this, our school. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, we're a small school, but Lord, you do so much grand work here in our hearts and our lives. And so we give you praise. Lord, thank you for the teachers. I thank you for their hearts um, and their dedication. And especially this year, just their, their extra labor of love as they are juggling so many different things in order for us to be open and, and be a safe school and, and have a school that is available for students who have to stay home and, and be on campus. Lord, I just, I pray you bless them. I pray, pray you bless their, their school year. And, and Father, for the students, and thank you for just their patience with us as well. And, and thank you for the families. We pray your continual uh, provision, protection for all of us as we go through this school year. And Lord, as uh, the parents hear from the teachers tonight, uh, Lord, I do pray that they'd hear their hearts. As we know, they are great educators. Uh, we've acknowledged that uh, and received awards for that. But Lord, I, I pray that they'd hear their hearts and their love for you and love for these students. And so Father, thank you that we have a way to share this information uh, this evening. Thank you that we allow our, our teachers to be able to connect with the families uh, through uh, this um, playlist and, and video recordings. Uh, and Lord, just thank you so much, most importantly, for your son. For it's in his name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all again for joining us. Pray you enjoy your evening. God bless.